Welcome to this video on how to spend three awesome days in Cambodia. We're going to give you a breakdown of all our costs, what we spent on what, and take you day by day to the places that we visited, so you can get the best of your three days when visiting Cambodia. As well as being informative and hopefully not too boring, we're just normal people like you, we're not robotic AI voices or people trying to sell you something every five minutes. And thank you for coming along on this journey with us as we exit Phnom Penh Airport, which is the main airport and the capital of Cambodia. Cambodia is located in Southeast Asia and is bordered by three countries, Laos to the north, Thailand to the northwest and Vietnam to the east. And more than likely there will be people hassling you to take a taxi or tuk-tuk, which is a great way to travel around Cambodia. Just agree your price with a driver beforehand to prevent any hassle or to stop you getting ripped off. And to get from the airport to the city will take you around 25 minutes and it cost us $6, depending on where you're staying and if your driver gets lost or not. The weather in Cambodia is hot all year round and averages at around 30 degrees, which makes it a good place to come if you like the sunshine. We come here in May and it was very hot with temperatures reaching well above 30 degrees. And we stayed at this hotel, the Pavilion Hotel, which is a four star hotel and one we would highly recommend. The facilities of this hotel were good. There's two pools, one at the front, one round the back. And the rooms have everything you need as well. There's a big double bed, TV, tea, coffee making facilities, the usual sort of stuff, which was really good. At the time of recording, this hotel costs £53 a night, which included breakfast. And I'll convert the price onto the screen into the different currencies for you now. We start day one in the early afternoon time and I'll show you some of the places you can visit near the hotel starting with this restaurant that we stopped at for a bite to eat and a pot of green tea. The currency used here in Cambodia is in both US dollars and Cambodian real and if you pay for something in US dollars you're likely to get your change in the Cambodian real. Then it was off to our first stop gleaming in gold and one of the biggest and most popular tourist attractions here in Phnom Penh with many stunning buildings. It's the royal palace and the dwelling place of the king who still lives here and if you plan on visiting try to visit on a day when there's an event happening which he normally conducts in the throne hall and you'll be able to get to see him. I'll look out for the blue flag and if it's raised that indicates that he's home. And if you like what you see or want a more in-depth look at what's on offer when visiting the palace then feel free to check our day one vlog in Cambodia on our channel or any of our other videos if you like to see awesome places from around the world. And in the vast palace grounds you can walk around and get lost in all the wonderful architecture and murals on display from outside some of the buildings as well as look at some of the stupas and go inside some of the different buildings like this one which is called the Silver Pagoda. You're not allowed to record in here but as the name suggests it's called the Silver Pagoda for a reason because the floor is made up of 5,329 silver tiles each weighing 1.125 kilogram. So there's some serious money on the floor in this place although they wouldn't let you take one as a souvenir unfortunately. I did ask but to no avail. And the cost to get into the Royal Palace for foreign visitors is 10 US dollars. And if you'd like to hire a guide to explain things more and give you more knowledge and information about the history of this palace, then that will cost you 20 US dollars per group. And as we go through this video, I'll break down the costs for you into the different days and also give you a total for what it cost us for our three days here in Cambodia. And one thing's for sure is that you'll never get stuck for a ride in Cambodia with over 12,000 tuk-tuks and although it's really easy to flag a tuk-tuk down here, it is recommended to use an app called PassApp. And that's an application that allows you to book tuk-tuks and rickshaws with a taxi meter. It's basically Cambodia's equivalent to Uber or Grab, although one thing to note is that with this app you'll need a Cambodian telephone number to use it. Also, most of the tuk-tuk drivers will offer you packages and deals for the day which are extremely good value for money. And we would highly recommend taking advantage of some of these as you can go to a wide range of places in the day and your driver will wait for you and pick you up and take you to all these places for a fixed price. And we'll show you all the places that we visited coming up in day two here in Cambodia as well as what it costs and I think you might be pleasantly surprised. 
The food here in Cambodia caters for a range of tastes and you have many food options here. By far the cheapest is to eat local food at a local restaurant like this one. The food was fresh and in case you're wondering how much the food was here, a meal for two people with drinks cost us 52,000 real, which converts to around 13 US dollars or 10 pounds. And what I'll do now is give you the total cost for the day, which is what we spent on day one. And as you can see on the screen, it cost us $343 for day one. And I'll convert that into British pounds as well for my mum and dad watching back in the UK. Bearing in mind, this was for two people, including the flights. And as mentioned, I'll carry this on throughout the video and break down the costs in uh, each day for day two and day three, as well as give you a total for what it costs for the entire trip. Now we head into day two by starting the day with this inclusive breakfast provided by the hotel and the choice for breakfast here, I have to say, was great. Then we headed out to meet our tuk-tuk driver, Savon. Good morning. Who dropped us off yesterday and sold us one of the tour packages for the day, which again is excellent value for money and as you'll see, nothing was too much trouble for him. The first stop that we're going is Cheong Ek Genocidal Centre, otherwise known as the Killing Fields. Which, as the name describes, is a place where people were brought to dig their own graves before being killed. And I'm not going to go too in depth about this place, as it's quite a challenging place to visit and possibly to watch as well. But if you want to know more information or you want to watch more about this place, feel free to check out our channel because we've got a video on day two of Cambodia that will show you the atrocities that happened and us walking through all the different stations where people were tortured. The tuk-tuk price for the day just includes your driver and doesn't cover the ticket prices to get into the places that you want to visit. And the ticket prices to get in here cost six dollars and I'll convert that onto the screen into different currencies for you. And to do the walking tour with the headset and to see everything and listen to all the audio will take you between one to a few hours. But again, it's entirely up to you how long you want to spend here. And we shall leave the Killing Fields there and move on to the second stop of the day, which follows on nicely from the Killing Fields. If you could ever follow something as nicely as that. And it's another popular but equally horrific and eye-opening place to visit called Two's Long Museum, which again is a place not for everyone and if you do come here to Cambodia, these will be some of the recommended places to visit from the different tour operators and tuk-tuk drivers, but depending on the experiences you want will depend if you want to come here or not. There are places here in Cambodia that offer a wide range of activities that we didn't get a chance to do, but might be more up your street, such as firing a rocket launcher. <laughs> or whatever you might be into, I'm sure like most places, you'll be able to find what you're looking for. And opposite to Long Museum was a nice local restaurant. You can grab a bite to eat and a drink while you process some of what you've just witnessed from inside the museum. The museum itself provided a good factual account of what happened in a sensitive manner as possible when talking about these horrendous crimes that took place. It made us a lot more knowledgeable about the tragedies that took place here. We weren't aware of any of this stuff prior to visiting and for those who like history, this will provide you with a much more detailed account than what you might have heard or read on the internet. Nothing quite hits home more than seeing thousands of skulls up close and personal and it really does make you question humanity after witnessing all the awful things that were done during Pol Pot's regime from April 1975 to January 1979. And the price to enter to's long museum cost $10. And it's another five dollars for the audio which i think is worth it as you get a better and more detailed account of what actually happened moving on again now to stop number three of the day which is the national museum of cambodia and the museum is open daily from eight in the morning until five in the evening with the last admission tickets being sold at 4 30. the ticket price is ten dollars per person and again guided tours can be arranged for individuals or groups at the museum entrance this place has some fantastic exhibits and artifacts on display and there's an outdoor area you can come and grab a drink or pick up some souvenirs. There's also a fish pond if you like to feed the fish you can. There's a strict no photo or video policy inside the museum. I'm taking a video by the way. I mean, if you saw our video on Vietnam of us getting marched off by the military guards into an office you'll understand that sometimes you've got to learn the hard way. Looks like the easy way is out. We'll get back into the tuk-tuk to the final stop on this awesome tour which is this temple set on the only hill in Phnom Penh called Wat Phnom Don Penh. 
It's a Buddhist temple that has a grand staircase guided by lions and naga, which are the snakes on the balustrades leading up to the temple. It costs a dollar per person to enter and is open from 7 in the morning until 6 at night. And that was it for the tour. In total, we visited four places, which were spread out quite far across Phnom Penh, and it was expertly navigated by our brilliant driver and human being called <laughs> Savon, who couldn't have been more helpful. It was an absolute pleasure being chauffeured in his tuk-tuk, and it cost us $25 in total for the day. And we thought it only right to give him a nice little tip for all his efforts and hard work. And you don't have to tip, it's not customary. Thank you, Savon. See you later. Bye bye. And we've got Savon's contact detail should you wish to book him if you're travelling to Phnom Penh. He's gave us his permission for us to advertise him and we can vouch for him as a reliable and safe option to use if you are coming here. So just leave us a comment if you want in his details and we'll send you them across. Now we'll show you a place not far from the hotel. We went in the evening for a bite to eat, which was a little bit more upmarket than yesterday, at this place called the Crud Sky Bar. And there's a good mixture of drinks and dishes that you can eat here, and the ambience as well as the food was really special. And the prices were a lot cheaper in comparison to the other places that we'd visited around the world. The total price for this meal and drinks for both of us was $29.80 and I'll convert that onto the screen into different currencies for you. And as we head back to the hotel for a nightcap, I'll put on the screen for you now the total cost for day two here in Cambodia of what we spent into the different categories, starting with US dollars and again in Great British Pounds, bearing in mind this was for two people and I think that was very good value for money considering all the places that we visited. And that was it for day two and we started off the day in day three with another one of the inclusive breakfasts. And then we contacted Savon the Tuk Tuk driver to be our driver once again. There he is. Good morning. How are you? He accepted, and the time we were in Cambodia, they're hosting something called the Sea Games, which if you don't know, it's basically the Asian Olympics. And we decided that we'd go and have a look at some of the events that were taking place here. Although, if you're going to come here or you're thinking about travelling here, then you won't get to see the Sea Games in Cambodia because the next ones are being held in Bangkok in 2025. So I won't talk too much about the Sea Games, apart from saying that if that is something of interest for you, then I've got you covered and I've plenty of information and footage of this on our Day 3 in Cambodia full video. And you can find that on our channel, should you wish. But for this video, I want to show you things that you're likely to do, not the things that aren't available. So we'll go and have a look at the biggest and by far the best zoo here in Phnom Penh, or Safari as it's known. And the ticket prices cost $10 per person and that's for an adult and a child ticket was half the price $5. And when you purchase your ticket you can also purchase vouchers to exchange for food at the different stations. There's plenty of animals you can feed too like these giraffes as well as the tigers and there's some fish that might steal your bottle of food if you're not too careful. This safari really does have it all and it's a great experience to come and visit. You can easily spend a full day here. There really are a wide range of animals here as you'd expect and the highlight has to be the animal shows too that start at different times throughout the day. You can get to see people put their hands into a crocodile's mouth for your entertainment as well as get picked up by an elephant. Also look out for the organised Muay Thai boxing match between some of the chimpanzees with nice walks and nice scenery to go through there's a train that'll take you around the park to the different destinations at a small cost. The food is really nice here too with a range of options to suit your taste. We particularly enjoy the chicken burgers. And you can finish the day off by buying your girlfriend or boyfriend or any friend for that matter a cuddly toy from the gift shop as a reminder of your time here. And another cool thing to see that's worth mentioning is what Penum Don Pen at night where it has all these beautiful lights. And that just about wraps it up now for the three days as we head out to a nearby restaurant which did amazing food. Chicken Anok. The chicken hammock was superb and the beef stew was cooked to perfection and just melted in your mouth. And as we look at the breakdown of what we spent on day three, starting in US dollars and again in Great British Pounds, this could be made even cheaper for you depending on what type of budget you run into. 
as you won't have the cost from the sea games like we did although saying that it was still another relatively cheap day and as we wake up once again and go for breakfast for the final time, then the choice for breakfast here, I have to say, was great. You not only had the choice of the Asian style breakfast, but you could choose the continental breakfast too. And as we check out of the hotel and head to the airport for our flight home, we couldn't think of anybody else we'd rather take us than our favorite tuk-tuk driver, Savon. Hello, Savon. You okay? Now to the part of the video that most people are interested in, and that's looking at the full costs for our three days here in Cambodia, which is probably one of the cheapest three-day adventures that we've been on so far, and possibly the most interesting and diverse out of all the places we've been as well. So there you go, the full cost for our Cambodia trip was 793 US dollars, and that included everything and in English money that worked out at 636 pounds like to say a big thank you very much thank you and we'll let everybody know to get in touch with you if they come to Cambodia they can use your tuk-tuk okay Okay, no, thank you so much, really appreciate it, everything you've done. Okay, you take care, see you later, bye bye. I'm always amazed that you watch, like and comment on these videos with everything else out there you could be watching. It's an absolute honour and pleasure to have you along on the journey with us. And we have lots of videos from all the places that we've travelled and we're going to do lots more videos as well from the other places that we're going to travel. Bye bye Cambodia. And I'll try to upload as often as I can. And all that's left for me to say is thanks again. And if you want to see what we got up to in Vietnam, just click on the left-hand video or on the right-hand video for our latest video release.